Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to maintain short acrylic nails. The majority of my clients are professionals and they like to have beautiful nails, but they cannot wear long nails. They are also tempted to sometimes bite their nails if they don't keep acrylic on. I'm also going to show you how to be systematic in shortening and shaping the nails so they're very symmetrical and going to touch base on how clients hold their fingers in an odd position that makes it hard for you to do your work and what to do about it. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and share my tutorials so other people can find my channel. Using pure acetone and cotton to remove her polish. You're going to apply the cotton to the nail plate and use small circular motions until the polish is completely removed. And I'm going to show you what it looks like in real time and then when I get to the other hand I'm going to speed it up. the knife end of your metal cuticle pusher, you're going to push back the cuticles and scrape off any adhered cuticle that's on the nail plate, and that's called the trigium. You're going to inspect the nails as you go along and make note of where you see any lifted acrylic that needs to be nipped off, and then we're going to use our 180 grit nail file to go back and blend the old acrylic into the natural nail. your nippers, make sure that you are squeezing the acrylic and not pulling at the acrylic. Make sure you get the edge of your blade under the lifted part of the nail and then squeeze and the lifted part should break off. to use our nail file to blend the old acrylic into the natural nail as well as remove any adhered cuticle that is on the nail plate and remember that nail prep is the most important part of an acrylic nail application. Make sure you're using very light pressure when you're filing the natural nail because you do not want to thin the nail plate out. You just want to remove the shine and any dead skin that's on the nail plate.
Next we're going to shorten all five nails and it takes about seven strokes of the nail file to take off about two weeks worth of growth. And then we're going to round each side to make sure that they're symmetrical. I always do about seven strokes to shorten the nail and then three strokes on the left, three strokes on the right to get my shape and then we'll refine the shape at the very end. speed up the opposite hand at each step that we go to and if you guys don't like the sped up version just comment in the video and then on my next video I won't do it. I can't decide if people like the fast forward version or not so just let me know. all of the dust and debris with your nail brush and this is very important because there cannot be any loose dust on the nail plate or down in the crevices before we put on the primer. Time to apply the primer to the nail plate. You only put the primer on the natural nail. You do not get primer on the acrylic because it can cause your acrylic to yellow and the the nail needs to still have wet primer on it, so if the nail dries before you get the bead of acrylic, you need to apply a second coat of primer. When you apply your ball of acrylic to the nail plate, you're going to place it where the old acrylic meets the natural nail and then you're going to press it up into place and make sure that it does not touch any of the skin. After it's back far enough, then you can tap it and walk it up the nail plate and blend it into the old acrylic. I always lift the finger up and look down the nail to make sure that my shape is nice and symmetrical because I want to do as little as following as little filing as physically possible.
by the time we get to the thumbnail, the primer has dried, so I'm going to apply another little coat. And in this instance, you're going to see me struggling with her thumb a little bit. She keeps trying to twist her hand and twist her thumb down. So you'll see me reposition my thumb and, and turn it side, you know, turn her thumb back sideways so I can see the top surface of it. And to her, I'm saying, relax your thumb, I'm going to turn it so I can see the top of it. And she's giggling, of course, because she knows she's doing it, but for some reason, they just can't help it. <laughs> nipping and filing, and I should have done this before I started the last hand, I always turn my towel up to cover up all of that loose dust because it's inevitable that somebody taps the towel and dust flies up and it lands all over the acrylic and it just makes it, um, I don't know, kind of a hassle. So just try to get that debris out of the way. Here in a minute, you're going to see I tap her pinky with my thumb a couple of times because she keeps making her finger really straight and they just don't realize that they're doing it. I think they're trying to watch um, and so I just kind of tap, tap, tap and they're like, oh, I'm sticking my finger straight up in the air again. So then they'll like relax their hand. See, I tap her and she's like, oh, sorry. Now, when I file people's nails, I always try to stay in a routine, a routine when I'm filing so I can stay organized. It does help your speed. If you try to do the same thing on each finger, then you don't get confused on where you left off. I'll do the sidewalls, refine the tip, go around the cuticle, then go across the whole top of the nail. Sometimes I get those last two switched around. I'll go across the top of the nail and then go around the cuticle. But whatever routine you pick for your nails, just try to stick to the same routine on each nail. If you have 
haven't watched the video on how to blend the acrylic into the cuticle line, make sure that you watch that video. It's really important so you can um, hear all about how when I look at each nail, I watch for dust buildup down in crevices and that is an indication of where the acrylic is not blended. So make sure you go back to that video list and watch that video. here you're going to see me correct her hand position again. She starts to twist her wrist and so I just take her index finger and you know kind of guide it underneath her hand so she realizes that she's starting to twist her hand and then she move, moves it back straight for me again. Now when you're trying to make a nail symmetrical and you're staring at it and you're thinking what in the world it's looking all wonky I don't know what's going on I always hold my nail file up and make it go straight down the center of the nail and then I measure. I look at the left side, then I look at the right side and then I can tell where my imperfection is at and then you can adjust it. So I'm going to do it on this finger again too and I did it on the middle finger and if you missed it then you can just rewind for a second and go back and look. step before she goes and washes her hands we're going to use a sanitizable buffer board to buff off all the file lines out of the acrylic now I don't know why or who taught nail technicians to apply cuticle oil before the client goes and washes their nails or before you buff the nails but you should not be doing that the cuticle oil is applied at the end of the nail service. If you apply cuticle oil before they go and wash their hands, 
chances are they're not going to get it all off and when you go to polish their nails their nail polish is going to chip off and polish should not chip off acrylic nails or your polish will like shrink back like water and oil so just always apply at the after you polish at the end of the service time to polish the nails and I want you to watch the pressure I know you can't see pressure but watch the bristles on the brush as they fan out you can tell that I'm applying pressure I'm pushing down on the brush so the bristles fan out and then I push the brush back up to the cuticle line and that is how you get a perfect line around the cuticles you should never set a brush down on the nail plate and try to get close to the cuticle the brush should always be pushed up to the cuticle I also want to explain what I'm doing when it looks like I'm scrubbing the nail with the brush. The bristles have actually come away from where I intended them to be, so I'm just scooting them back where I want them to be so they get as close to that nail wall as possible. get too close to the cuticle here don't worry I get that off at the end
apply the top coat, I use a fast drying top coat called Air Shield. It's the best top coat in the whole wide world, I promise. it's time to apply the cuticle oil. The cuticle oil is applied at the end of the service so it can stay on the hands to replenish the moisture that we have just removed from using polish remover and filing the fingertip and cuticle area. Um, I hope you guys learned at least a few things from my tutorial today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of my next upload. I upload about once a week. Hit that like button and click that share button as well. Have a great day.